What's good, y'all? It's your boy Pithney the Beast, and today we're going to be talking about Kemba Walker and his decision in free agency. So, a report just dropped, and uh, the Celtics are going to be offering Kemba Walker a $141 million contract for over four years. Kemba Walker is an All NBA player, a great point guard, making the All NBA third team. The Hornets, he just, they just weren't getting it done. I think he's a franchise uh, leader in points for the Hornets. And, but this, yeah, this was their third season in a row not making the playoffs. So uh, it's gonna be great to see him in green. Hopefully he'll be able to mesh well with the guys, the younger guys, uh, something that Kyrie, I guess, was not able to do. He is a Jordan Brand player, same as Jason Tatum. The Celtics also just hired uh, Kara Lawson. She was a former, uh, a former NBA analyst uh, she's a former Olympic basketball player who's won a championship, and she has a great relationship with Kimba Walker. Uh, I don't really know how that came about, but she knows of Kimba, and I think it's going to be great to see Kara in uh, green along with Kimba Walker in green. That's Yeah, just, just to make a little bit more cap space, the Celtics are going to renounce their rights to Terry Rozier, so Terry Rozier will be an unrestricted free agent. Uh, my opinion on Kimba Walker, uh, I really thought the Celtics were going to get D'Angelo Russell, but um, Kim Walker is just as good. Or well, actually, I, he's a lot better, in my opinion. How he's gonna mesh well with the younger guys and Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. He is sort of ball dominant. He does create his own shot a lot, but Kyrie Irving does as well. I just thought D'Angelo Russell was uh, a better passer and a younger guy, along with him knowing Romeo Langford and Jason Tatum. Uh, Kim Walker can fill, up, fill it up. Uh, he definitely wants to be a contender and he can definitely fulfill that uh, being a Boston Celtics come this fall. Kimba Walker is an easy 20 points, six assists type guy. Uh, he can also rattle off 40 to 50 points uh, at any given night. Yeah, and I'm just excited to see what other moves the Celtics are going to make. They still have two other guards that they drafted. Well, three other guards that they drafted and two other point guards underneath. They're still looking for a big man. You know, I'm just excited to see what moves the Celtics are going to make now in free agency. Yeah, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that bell for post notifications. Peace.